to my channel. My name is Amina and I'm here every week to bring you exciting flavors into your kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a moist chocolate tree cake plus a chocolatey sauce on top of it. Yes, chocolate sauce from scratch. Let's dive in. I've already preheated the oven to 220 centigrade and now I'm going to grease the pan that I will use. I will use some butter in it. I'm going to grease the pan with some butter. Spread it everywhere in order to avoid the cake from sticking. Now, if it's a normal cake, I will go ahead and put some flour. But because it's a chocolate cake, I have a mix of cocoa powder from plus flour. I'm gonna go here and shake it. Get it well, that's good. And the sides. I'm going to be honest with you, this is a really sweet cake. For full measurements and instructions, you can always check that on the blog aminacooks.wordpress.com. Now, ingredients are flour, the dry ingredients first. Some cocoa powder. Everything in here, I've sifted it before using in, avoid, in order to avoid lumps. I have my baking powder plus salt and the next thing is the sugar remember I said it's quite sweet the weight ingredients eggs The weight ingredients, eggs, inside the eggs goes some milk, warm water, and oil. To mix that. Now the wet ingredients goes into dry ingredients. Like never, never ever over mix your cake mix. Like I know there are some lumps here, but it's okay. You don't want to overmix it because when you overmix a cake, 
it gives all hard and we want a soft and moist, remember? Now it goes into the cake pan. Look at that. Okay. I'm forever grateful for the person that invented chocolate. I am sure I'm not the only person. Now this goes into the oven, goes into the oven, the already preheated oven that I mentioned earlier. Now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, make sure not to miss any deliciousness and follow me on my social media pages on Instagram and Twitter. I will put the links below in the description box. While the cake is in the oven, we are going to go ahead and make the chocolate sauce. Now, into a saucepan, I have some cocoa powder with milk. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add some sugar. A stick of cinnamon. Now, I'm going to let this stick of cinnamon to infuse when the sauce is ready, and I will take it out. And something unusual that you wouldn't expect to see. Some cornstarch. Now I'm just going to help to thicken up the chocolate sauce. Some butter. If we want it all shiny and glossy, we need butter to that gel. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix everything up. Now, under low heat, I'm going to let this cook. So we'll move to the next stitch. I'm already smelling the chocolate flavor. Don't worry about the butter, it will melt the time. I just want everything to be. You know, smooth chocolate is nice. Yeah. That's why I'm wasting it well. We're not even stopping here. Even when it's done, we are going to take it to the next level because we want all that smoothness. Plastic. All mixed up. Now I'm going to let this to cook under low heat, medium low heat, until everything incorporated into place and has taken up to the consistency that we want. Then we'll do, we'll level it up. Once you have tried this homemade chocolate sauce, you won't miss this tub, but you will quickly substitute it with this. This has Second up beautifully, I'm going to go ahead and remove the cinnamon stick and I will show you the next step. Let me tell you, chocolate is smooth because of air. Now to where they to put it in the blender. And then a hot liquid, make sure to leave space for some steams to escape. So that's why I remove the top. Well, I said I'm going to go and add this into a jar. Oh, I wish you could smell this. To go and put this in the fridge to cool down. It's ready. It has been in the oven for 50 minutes, and let me show you. See, it comes out clean. It's ready. Now we're going to let this to cool down before we pour the chocolate sauce. That's much. That's pretty much it. I would love to see how you make this in your kitchen. If you do that, don't forget to tag me either on Instagram or on Twitter. I'll put them in the description box below. And with that, be well and see you next week.